question, is hydrogen water better than alkaline water? What up all my HG Minute peeps? Thank you guys for voting on this Q&A question. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit of a fun one and a controversial one. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin. Okay, so to begin, I think it's best to distinguish both of these waters in their separate categories. Uh, first of all, alkaline water uh, is water having a pH above 7. And, uh, and that has reference to hydrogen ions, which are protons. They dictate pH of the water. Um, hydrogen water has reference to a dissolved gas, hydrogen gas, or a gaseous solid uh, that can be dissolved in any pH of water. And so they really are two separate categories. Uh, now, um, I do believe hydrogen water has a growing body of evidence. Uh, we're upwards to 1,500 publications worldwide, and that number is uh, increasing rapidly. Uh, whereas uh, alkaline water, um, the data for it is severely lacking, um, and there is uh, mixed data online uh, when it comes to alkaline water and its therapeutic effects when we're talking about the empirical data for it. And so um, if you want to take it from that standpoint, then obviously I believe hydrogen water um, is actually, actually going to be better for you. Now, alkaline water is immensely popular uh, and it's everywhere. You can find it at all your, all your grocery stores or anything like that. Um, but really, it, it, it does have its root in the ideology of alkalizing the body, um, which is interesting because alkaline water in and of itself is not a buffer. So it cannot neutralize acid. Um, and it, that means that it will likely not survive your own stomach and will eventually buffer by your blood. And so it won't even be the pH that you drank um, or, or that you drank or when you got it. And so uh, it's just interesting uh, because, because of this ideology, which we have a video on this, by the way, um, I think it's called alkalizing the body. But uh, because of this, uh, there has been uh, many people who have said they've had therapeutic benefits from alkaline water. So this is kind of a conundrum. But I think here at Asia Minutes, we kind of helped to clear that up because um, many times uh, the benefits that have been attributed to alkaline water um, is being discovered to actually be uh, really from hydrogen gas. Uh, many people... Um, in the United States and around the world drink alkaline water from water ionizers. And water ionizers produce dissolved hydrogen gas within its alkaline pH waters. And so they vary in their dissolved hydrogen concentration, but um, it has been explicitly proven throughout the literature that H2 is a therapeutic agent within ionized water. So many of the benefits that have been attributed to alkaline water um, or to or to the water or to the pH of the water being alkaline. Um, looks like it is from hydrogen gas uh, mediating those effects. And so this is another one of those areas that makes this question such a uh, such a little fun one to deal with because there's obviously some controversy with it. Now, I do have to clarify something because the bottled waters that you were, will uh, receive at the store that are alkaline, um, they're generally produced with some kind of carbonate, bicarbonate, potassium carbonate, some kind of agent or, 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 uh, or base to increase the pH. Whereas uh, water produced by a water ionizer, which basically just runs a process of electrolysis on water, um, increases the pH, um, but it does not add anything to the water. And so uh, there is going to be a slight difference there uh, when it comes to those two. So basically, the alkaline water from the store will not have hydrogen gas in it, whereas uh, ionized water uh, may have hydrogen gas in it. Now, that all depends if you're keeping the water ionizer clean and everything, because it there's more we can get into another video on that topic another time. But uh, you need to make sure you keep it clean because it will make sure that the hydrogen gas levels remain uh therapeutic or at a therapeutic level. OK, to end the video, I want to highlight a few quotes and read them for you. Despite the promotion of the alkaline diet and alkaline water by the media and salespeople, there is almost no actual research to either support or disprove these ideas. This systemic review of the literature revealed a lack of evidence for or against diet acid load and or alkaline water for the initiation or treatment of cancer. 
promotion of alkaline diet and alkaline water to the public for cancer prevention or treatment is not justified. One last note about alkaline water, uh, it should be consumed at less than a 10 pH. Now, there is some evidence that suggests that drinking um, alkaline water above a 10 pH uh, might not be suitable or good for us. Uh, there are some people who are hypersensitive to it and uh, can actually induce uh, acid reflux because the pH is so high or it can be an irritant. And so, and, and that's even with the hydroxide level being rather dilute. Um, but that being said, it should be consumed at a less than a 10 pH. Typical drinking water is anything around from 7 pH to around 8.5. Um, and in, in, in consuming alkaline water from 8.5 to about 9.5 pH, uh, there shouldn't be any issue with that. All right. One last quote before we end the video, but to preference the quote, um, I think it's important for me to mention a few things. There's been numerous studies, uh, that has been done thus far to independently look at the multiple variables of electrolyzed reduced water or ionized water, uh, whether it's pH, whether it's minerals, whether it's dissolved gases, uh, to try to discover what is a therapeutic agent. And uh, it has been discovered as, as hydrogen gas. Uh, it wasn't the pH, it wasn't the minerals, but then electrolyzed reduced water, um, alkaline reduced water, uh, whatever title they've named for it, ionized water, uh, hydrogen gas uh, is the therapeutic agent of that water. And so let's go ahead and get into the quote. In 2005, they reported that hydrogen rich neutral water that was produced with their unique electrolysis device reduced oxidative stress in rats. This was a pioneering work because it explicitly proved that molecular hydrogen, not alkaline, in electrolyzed alkaline water exerts therapeutic effects. So that's it. I hope I answered your question and gave you some valuable information when it comes to this topic. We really appreciate you guys uh, voting on these Q&A polls. It allows me to bring you, uh, you know, videos a lot faster. Our HMA videos take a long time to actually produce those and I can get these out relatively quickly. So please uh, continue to like and subscribe and share these videos. Please uh, support us and follow us on all of our uh, social media outlets or, or, or platforms. And then uh, and we'll be sure to bring you another one of these next month. Deuces.